this is what I'm out here working on today. The mower deck came off of like a 66, something without the full footboards. As you can see, that this here is the old handle, and it won't clear on this style of footboard. It would be inboard, like right here. So thankfully I had another one laying around from a mower deck I parted out. So I had to cut the tabs off because the tabs are welded for this. Cut both of those off, grinded them down. And I put this up on there, marked it. It looks like it'll work. I guess I'll be the first one to find out if it does or not. Drilled the holes, ran the bolts down through it. Got it all set up. Got to put the rest of the shit back on it. I got to modify this still because where I put the bolts through goes through where that was. So I got to drill some holes in that and bolt that back up under there. But I put this thing up for sale on Facebook and nobody was biting on it. And figured I might as well fucking modify it to where I can use it instead of it just sitting here. So I guess I got to take that off Facebook because I'm not selling it anymore. Yeah, I got an old mower deck out here that I took apart. It's in rough shape. That's what the handle came off of. That cover's still decent. I might save that, but the deck's fucking shot. But it popped up on Marketplace with the dozer blade for a hundred bucks, so... I went and got it. I was mainly just looking for the dozer blade. And I got the fleet out today, getting some sun. I had to clean up the garage a little bit. Got to move the grader blade probably over there so I can put this mower deck back there. The worst part about these things are so damn heavy. I picked it up, sat it up on there to work on it so I didn't have to bend down the whole time guy before me put a bolt through here so I gotta get a new roll pin and run through there fix that and this thing's solid that's the only reason why I went through the trouble of saving it or else I would have just sold it for dirt cheap but it's pretty solid and I got the super 12 covered up I gotta finish painting that one of these days it's been so fucking hot and humid. Got my wheel weight stash, some wheels. Last week I went through my tire pile. Just got a bunch of rims left. Got rid of all the original tires that were completely shot. Still got one more I gotta take off there. That one's still good though, so I'm kinda holding off in case I end up with one that's good like that. And that's the transmission for the Super 12. Got that already. I just gotta wait for better weather to clear it and then I'm gonna throw that in. And I got the majority of the stuff painted. Gotta do the fenders and that pile of stuff and then the hood and the grill. But a lot of the small stuff's already done. Thankfully, the guy I got it from, because when I got it, it was all sandblasted and taken apart. He shipped this to me. Still got the original writing on it. It's in pretty good shape. I got a pretty good feeling that this thing was in really good original condition with paint and all, based off of the parts I've seen. It's a shame he sandblasted it and all, but I'm putting it as back to as close as original as I can. It's gonna get used, so I'm not gonna spend a whole lot of time trying to make it perfect, make it show tractor, but. I'd like to touch up this a little bit too, just to protect it from the rust. I'm not worried about doing the blade or anything. Probably gonna end up pulling this mower deck off the hydro and throwing a dozer blade back on it because that's what's always on it. I gotta paint some rims and get some new tires for this thing and this thing's just about done. Just adjusted the valves on this last night. So I gotta get new gaskets for the valve covers though. 
somebody had been in there on the side with the breather and they didn't put a gasket on the bottom they just had one in between the breather part and the upper part of the valve cover well, i haven't really done anything with this this thing i painted dozer blade last weekend and redid the wiring because it hadn't had a kill wire since i got it but i got it all torn apart and this was the first one i ever redid so i didn't know how the wiring went so i got that working cigarette lighter works on it which is pretty cool the original cigarette lighter i think it works you gotta get another tire for this but yeah that's what i'm going through this weekend gotta get ready to get wrapped up gotta get up and go to work tomorrow thanks for watching